A vein patch is the safest way to close an arteriotomy if there is the slightest risk that direct closure will produce narrowing. Start the exercise by lifting the adventitia of the artery and then with the blade pointing away from you, use a short stabbing motion with the scalpel. Now, using pot scissors, make an elliptical arteriotomy about three centimeter long. Inspect the internal surface of the vessel with care. Excise the lips, so that if primary closure were to be undertaken, it would produce an obvious stenosis in the vessel. A defect such as this should never be closed using a primary suture technique. You can see here that a closure would produce severe narrowing of the vessel. Using the simulated vein provided, cut one end in the form of an ellipse, but leave the other end of the patch long and unshoot at this stage. This section of the patch can thus be grasped without risk of damage to that portion of the intima which will be in subsequent contact with the blood. Using a 5-0 proline suture, insert an initial stitch at the shaped apex of the patch from outside to inside and then from inside to outside at the apex of the arteriotomy. As before, be careful not to drag the needle through the arteriotomy, but roll it through, and then tie the suture using several throws of a formal reef knot. Place one end in a rubber shod hemostat, and then using the free end of the suture, work down the far side of the arteriotomy from outside to inside on the graft, and then inside to outside on the artery. Try and ensure that the vein patch is bedded down by holding the surplus portion of the patch with your forceps. Continue to work down the far side of the incision, only going through both graft and artery with one sweep, when it is very apparent that it is safe to do so. In normal circumstances, however, it is inadvisable to suture both vein patch and arterial wall with a single traverse of the needle, unless you are extremely experienced. Once the far end of the arteriotomy is reached, the vein graft can be cut to length and shaped appropriately. Now continue to suture around the apex of the graft, taking care how you handle the vein patch now that the excess has been removed. Insert two or three sutures along the proximal wall of the arteriotomy and then place the suture in a rubber shod hemostat. Now take the other end of the original suture and start to suture down the proximal wall, again going from outside to inside on the vein patch and inside to outside on the arterial wall. Take care not to handle the suture material or the arterial wall with your forceps. Continue down the proximal wall until the initial suture is reached and then legate the two sutures together. Do this with a reef knot using multiple throws, laying each one with care. Then cut your suture. 